Hello, my noble band of outlaws, Outlaw Samurai, coming at you live with a video. Well, Christmas is the season for giving, as they say. And I decided to give myself kind of a cringe worthy gift. Now, we in the sword world, like in animes and manga communities, have certain tropes that set us off. Like, uh, the one airhead girl that doesn't know what the hell you're doing. The, pro the male protagonist is so thick-skulled he can't understand when a girl is wanting to go on a date with him. Or... Uh, my one of my favorite memes, the no horny bond with the Shino Ino dog. If you watch a lot of anime, you know what the hell I just said. But in any case, in the sword world, stainless steel is a big thing. Check out my video on my thoughts about stainless steel sword blades. I'm not getting into the whole rant about that again. Should be uh, viewable. Upload the damn things like a couple of days ago, so it should all be good. But I decided to give myself a present that will indubitably initiate cringe within the sword community, at least of the members that watch my show. Now, before I fully open this, there's one other thing I want to say, and that is... We've all been there. We've all gotten this item at one point. Usually early on in our sword collecting uh, careers. Or with swords that we've bought. The fancy cases, etc, etc, etc. But I decided to buy this separately. I bought a sword cleaning kit. Okay. That's right. Outlaw Samurai. He went there. Okay. I went the way of the total noob. And bought a sword cleaning kit. Mainly for the uh, little tool that lets me take apart a katana and not maul the damn thing to death. But this is a special cleaning kit from Tenryu. It's a two-piece set. And what I mean by two-piece set is... Uh, what I'm about to show you in a second. Is that when I ordered this off of Amazon... It came with the kit, but also... An unexpected little treat. A bonus, if you will. This was 32 bucks, like four, almost 40 something with shipping uh, and tax added in. But yeah. So we're going to go through the normal basic cleaning kit. You can see these wooden boxes are never the best quality, okay? First of all, we have a major gash in the wood. That, that's something there. The wood's been cross-cut here. There's a gap in, in the ceiling there. This almost feels like the sponge wood. Like the really soft, pliable wood that you work with in wood chop when you build those little CO2 cards. It feels like that. Cheap ass pine. Okay. Now, you pro I might I probably shouldn't be nitpicking a $32 sword kit. There were cheaper versions, but I went with this one for a very specific reason, which I will show you is inside this box. But yeah. I'd like to see at least with a wooden box not the gap in the seal, that's acceptable, but not a freaking gash in the damn side of this thing. But let's break this open and see what we got. 
You got your basic uh, doodads and huzamaroos. Of course, you ca it comes with the spare makugi pegs. Don't even know if that's going to fit any of my swords. The little brass hammer that you use to beat the makugi pegs out with. I need to tighten down the hammerhead. I'm assuming this is the little tool you use to push the makugi pegs out with. Or you use this. Santa's hammer. <laughs> Will I probably be using that with such a sharp point? Maybe not so much because I don't want to stab through my makugi pegs. Here you have a bottle of choji oil. The kanji is choji oil. This is the special oil that you put on the sword uh, after you've cleaned it. Then we have our little powder ball. This does not look as clean and neat as it did on the pictures on the website. I don't even know what this is for. I guess to hold the uh, rice. Oops. I guess to hold the rice paper. Which, honestly, I probably won't use half this shit. Like, Honestly, comment down below. I want to hear these comments, people, okay? Comment down below if you actually have used any of these things in the in a sword cleaning kit. Aside from maybe the brass hammer to take the makugi pegs out. I will say, getting spare makugi pegs is a nice bonus. But what really sold me on this cleaning kit was what else came with it and just this box is a lot better in its build quality but it does have like this little like when the i assume when the people were shaping this they uh hit the sanding wheel with the corner and just burp. but what sold me was this this is a Tenryu whetstone or sharpening stone. And just holding this thing in my hand and looking at it, I can tell this is the rough side and this is the finer side. I have no idea what grit this is. But it would be interesting, but I do want to attempt to sharpen uh, knives and such with this. There's these two little yellow blemishes on the whetstone that I don't know why they're there, honestly. I mean, was I expecting to get... Albion level quality out of this? Obviously not. Was I expecting to get a box of, a couple of uh, was I expecting the boxes to have those blemishes? No. But uh, you're probably wondering why I'm harping so much. And the reason I'm harping so much on these little blemishes is that Quality control, in my opinion, is a issue that companies need to address in some cases. Albions, for example, don't really have a whole lot of quality control issues. Albion really doesn't have that quality control issue. Now, I'm not saying that I want this box to be made out of freaking solid oak. Or a thousand year old Japanese magnolia wood. No. That would jack the price up to an unreasonable level. What I am saying, however, 
is that I would at least like a box that didn't come with gashes in the wood. And like I said, you're probably wondering why I'm harping so much on the gashes in the wood thing. And that's because I personally like to do woodworking from time to time. It's nothing I do extensively. It's not like a big hobby of mine, but I do like to dabble in it every so often. And I am OCD on imperfections like this in wooden boxes and wood products in general. But that's just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt on what I think a little bit more quality control could have been put into these. But until next, that's pretty much all I got. So until next time, my noble man of outlaws, outlaw samurai, tell all y'all be crazy rednecks, be safe in using your weapon. I'm out. Peace. And keep your swords clean and sharp.